Hi guys, it's me Noelle, and in this segment of Coffee with Noelle, um, I'm going to be talking about something rather serious and important. Uh, don't, if you heard that sound, that's just my thing charging. So, this topic is because I was on YouTube yesterday, and I came across a YouTuber, and I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to, like, call her out or anything. It's nothing bad, it's sad. But I was watching a s story of hers, like, she was telling this really, I mean, really hard and, like, sad and just, like, really important kind of topic in everyday life. And it was just so sad, I was listening, you know, and it got me thinking all, all day at work, I was thinking about it. And I came home, you know, and I was like, let me check, when's the last time she made... A YouTube video because I noticed on Twitter she hadn't been on for a few days so I wanted to see when was the last time she made a video and it said two weeks and I was because I automatically after watching this it's and she, in the video she says I hope none of these memories any more memories come back because she doesn't want to get depressed that would just be bad and I was thinking what if talking about it made her depressed like I automatically was like let me check When's the last time she uploaded a video? It, I hope she's alright. Like, my first thought is to, she commit suicide, you know? Because what she went through was extremely, like, bad and sad and unnecessary. I mean, it could have been stopped. But she was, it, it just, ha it, she was a little kid. She didn't know what to do, you know? And no one told her what to do. And she was just stuck. And so I was watching this video and it, I just thought, I really don't, I really hope she doesn't commit suicide, like, I don't want her to feel alone. I don't know this girl, but it's like, I just hate hearing about people being bullied and committing suicide, when it could be, it could be avoided. It, you know, it's like, this stuff can stop if we make it stop. Instead of people bullying everyone, love. You know, if you don't love someone or like someone, then why do you even bother with them? why you just want to spew hateful words at them like it doesn't hurt even if they're a celebrity it hurts you know like when people were fat shaming selena gomez it's like the most gorgeous girl i've ever seen but you want to call her fat come on now i think everyone would kill to look like her let's be honest i mean forget jell uh jello <laughs> forget jlo selena but getting off topic so so it's just like my brain went to that and it's sad that nowadays when you hear about people being depressed or you hear sad stories and you see them really like breaking down you think oh my god are they going to commit suicide is this too much are they on the point of breaking we just don't know it because they're putting on a front through the camera and I don't know I just I don't want people to feel alone like I don't know how to explain it I don't well, I know how to explain it but I want you guys to know like anyone watching this video you are not alone like I know how like hard that is to comprehend because it's like I know I'm not alone but at the same time I feel alone so really I can't listen to this girl telling me I'm not alone because I feel alone but you are not alone I promise you please 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 if you are being bullied if you are feeling down if you don't want to talk to someone on the suicide hotline or talk to a therapist or talk to your parents i am here i am non-judgmental i mean trust me i have went through my fair share of things i am dealing with so many different things and i might not understand everything you're going through but i understand most of it and I just don't want people to feel like they have to shut themselves down and kind of keep it in because I want them to be able to talk about it because I, you know, it's kind of hard because, sorry, oh, I feel like I got these. Okay. It's kind of hard because when talking about it, it can bring up a lot of bad feelings, a lot of depression, but at the same time, if you keep it in, it's not good. So I just want people to know if you ever need someone to talk to, rant to, anything, I am here. I linked my Twitter down below, I linked my email, I am always here to help, I am here to not judge you. Please do not 
feel alone. Please do not think about committing suicide. I mean, yeah, just whatever you have to do to make yourself not want to commit suicide or to make yourself say, you know what? No. I am going to live. I am going to fulfill my dreams. Because you know what? Even though people are calling me names or even though they're telling me I'm a loser and I can't do anything, wait till I'm something. And then I'm going to be looking at them and saying, I made something of myself. I made something. You don't let other people be the reason that you end your life. When your life could hold so much potential, even though you don't see it, it could. Go for your dreams, work hard. I know it's hard to overcome depression and anxiety, but work through it. Tell your mind you can do this and it will believe it. And I am here to talk there is therapist to talk, there is a hotline to talk, just any time you need to talk, any one of us will do, and I just don't feel alone, you are not alone, please, you are not alone, you do not have to commit suicide, bullies, they are just disgusting human beings who have no feelings, that's what it is, no emotion, don't let them be the reason you let yourself fall to the ground, they do not hold you. They are not the ones who get to decide when you move this way or when you walk this way or when you look this way. No, you decide. You are in control of your life. Do not let anybody try and control your life. Be happy. Do whatever makes you happy. I don't care. Do whatever you have to do to be happy as long as it's safe. Like, don't go crazy. I don't want anybody to like, I don't know, bungee jump or something. Although, I want to go jumping out of a plane, so I can't really say anything, but bungee jumping is scary. Like, dude, that could snap. You shouldn't be bungee jumping. But anyways, so that's what I want to say. I hope you enjoyed this segment of um, not feeling alone in coffee with Noel. I don't know. I ended it weird on a weird 